Hi everyone! I'll be honest, I have lost my art mojo a little bit <laughs> because I sort of don't feel like um, painting florals at the minute and but I do want to paint my dolls and at the same time I want to create something slightly uh, different or something uh, new which I have an idea of but it's sort of putting together a few different elements and that's what I will try to do today so first of all I really like these kind of um, small bodies that I gave um, these illustrations uh, back in spring if you remember that insert flip through um, so yeah, I really like that kind of style, but also lately I have been working on something new, which is creating a background, which you know is very unlike me, because I tend to like very minimalistic uh, kind of white um, paper, a lot of it to be there, and, um, and I also like to leave the face untouched, so for the skin tone I just use the white of the paper. Um, which I find makes uh, features like eyes and lips stand out more. Um, however, um, I really like this sort of uh, a bit of Ellie Brown kind of scribbly um, influence right here. As you can see, that's the graphite pencil, which I have learned from her. Um, which you sort of just scribble a little bit and then add some water and just creates a nice uh, marks there. So here um, I like certain elements of it. I like the background, I like the watercolour texture. This is um, on Tamoy River paper. Now this particular one is 68 uh, GSM and this one is the thinner one, the 52 GSM but they're both the cream color there is a white and cream and um, personally having tried few of those i prefer the white um but yeah i've got a few um well uh, a few inserts left with this cream paper which i want to use up and just kind of be experimental at the minute before i dive into the white paper like i said i really like that also um, the watercolour that transitions from this pink into this peach is gorgeous. I really, really would like to use that. I like the graphite, the textural elements. Um, however, with the face, I think I would probably leave just kind of like a blob of um, the white paper to keep the face white. And I think that would help it to pop even more and the reason that I don't want to do the face first and then the background is because it then starts to look a little bit um, kind of planned and you know um, structured. I'm also going to help myself by taking some inspiration from Felix um, Scheinsberger and I've got his book um, reviewed on my channel, so have a look um, in the playlist for book reviews. And I just love his quirky style and what or who, um, what style or who could be the better artist to take inspiration from when it comes to quirkiness and looseness of sketching. So I'll try to employ um, some of those kind of you know, very um, uncontrolled um, pen marks and ink um, kind of drawing um, and hopefully give my illustration a bit more stylized look. So for loads of color, loads of um, pizzazz. This one has to be my favorite. It really reminds me of Marilyn Monroe. Um, so yeah, so that kind of style or, or that direction. So I do like um, to leave quite a bit of white off the paper, like I said, but um, so that's where I'm going to take my inspiration. I'm going to actually leave this page open just so I can remind myself to be loose. So I'll just pop it over there. You probably won't see much of it, 
but I'll just keep it open like that. And let's see, so I'm going to take this one away and start on the next page. So, to begin with, I'm going to do um, a wash of watercolour. And for that, I'm going to use my palette that I put together. There will be a link in the description below. Now, I've got a glass of cold apple juice um, on my desk. And as always, I'll try to not dip the, the brush into it, as it did happen many times before. So I'm actually going to, I've got a bit of a peachy water situation going on here from previous um, illustration. I'm just going to rinse it and come back quickly. Okay, so I'm back with the clean water. Okay, so um, I'm going to use my silver black velvet round eight brush, which is great for washes because it holds loads of water. It's uh, possibly not as great for face illustration, I found, for my particular style because I can't control the water too much and I might um, then go in with the pencil uh, brush to do the face, but I'll see um, how we get on. So I roughly kind of know where the face will be, so I'll just place it in the middle for now and I'll leave the like a blob of this white paper for the face as, as I said before. So I'm going to start with um, some pinks and I'm going to go into this um, Daniel Smith Cunacridon pink, which is gorgeous, gorgeous bright color and start just by doing a generic kind of wash and importantly trying to keep this face area like that possibly the neck as well so just something like that i'm trying to not overthink it too much and just really kind of be quite relaxed about it as much as I can. So to create the peach I'm going to go into the yellow and then back into the pink. Um, you can mix this color up on a palette beforehand but I'm just going to be quite uh, loose so I think roughly this is what I want I'm just going to also add a bit of this yellow into here oh thank you Mason <laughs> that's a button from a scrapbooking kit from a while ago Okay, so I think I'm happy at this point and if anything I can dry it and go back. This is the way to work with Tamoy River. Uh, I have figured out. Oh, thank you Mason. Okay, so I have dried the watercolors and I'm going to dub off just where there was a little bit of wetness and in fact I think I might just go back in and really create these super bright blobs and try to be nice and abstract with it so over here I'm just going to wash it out a little bit wash it out. and I think I'm happy with the rest so I'm just going to intensify it right here while it's wet and just let it move out a bit like so We'll see what happens with it. I might turn it into flowers or something like that. Um, so watch me work now. So I'm going to um, dry off most of it and then leave these puddles where you can see it's the darkest and then dab them off with paper. So at this point, you can see, I just go like that and that creates lovely um, texture right here like that yeah and so the Tamoy River surprisingly takes a lot of water 
and yeah so you can the, the main thing is you can do as much as you want you can see there is no ripping of the paper nothing as long as you do washes and then dry and then um I put another layer on top you know you can create a lot of layers on Tamoy River paper so these particular ones if you're interested are from Etsy and the shop is called good ink brushes so I really like these inserts, they are really um, good. I found the seller on Etsy and um, yeah, I have been purchasing more and more since. So these are all black and they are all white paper. And I don't remember whether I ordered both the 68 and the 52, um, but yeah, I'll see what happens. And um, you also get this little paper clip for free so it's really cute it's so dainty so there we go so we, we have created the background now now at this point I'm going to look at the um, I'll just pull it in again just to remind you what I'm looking at at this um, lovely illustration by Felix and I'm going to try and sort of think of my own style, but also, actually today, I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. So today I'm going to um, pull out my 3B um, Karen Dash. This is a, uh, what's called, a graphite watercolor pencil. So, um, so yeah, I'm thinking of my illustration style, which is around there. And I'm also trying to employ his kind of free artistic um, style. So at this point, I'll stop chatting because when I try to speak and do art at the same time, you know, I, I can't quite concentrate on both. So I'll just zoom you in and um, you'll see what I'm doing here. Okay, so at this point it's still quite sort of detailed. So what I'm going to try and do is take some water and just let the uh, graphite uh, move in a little bit with the um, watercolor. So it's creating a bit of drama which uh, which I want but I don't want this to be too messy because obviously graphite will uh, kind of do that for you so I think I'll leave it just at this point and possibly even dab off some of it on the face and now I'm going to go and um, dry this actually I need some ears so I'm just going to create some ears and I think today I'm just giving her simple earrings and not doing anything else because there will be a lot going on. And I will just do that to the ears. And let me just dry it quickly and come back.
so now I'm just going to go in and have a look what I liked here. So I quite liked um, these different little marks and I'm just going to take a pencil and just do these kind of weird scribbles which mean really nothing. I'm just letting my wrist go a little bit mad and just let it do the thing without overthinking much and then I'm going to do a bit of this and one needs to be around here doesn't it so I'm just going to raise it like so that's enough of that I'm going to also take my white gel uh, the um, signal <clears throat> and wherever I have created the black I want the white also to be there white. yes let's see am I missing anything else no I just need to go with water over these lovely graphite marks I made and mm -hmm. we are there I think we're there. I think some gold actually. A bit of gold would do quite nicely, I think. So let me just add this gold like that. Just a little shimmer here and there. I think. That should be enough and I'm going to leave it at that. Let me just dry it quickly uh, so I don't create any smudges and then I'll come back. So here she is all nice and dried and yeah, I really love this. I love this color here, that peach, gorgeous peach with the contrast of the black going into pink and the white and the, um, you know, these graphite uh, water soluble scribbles. I just love them. I I really uh, I'm really happy that I could um, Learn it from From Ellie Brown to just let it go and you know be a bit more creative So yeah, I absolutely love every single bit of it. There is nothing that I could say at the minute that I hate um, I'm thinking maybe there is something I could add to it still, but I'd rather leave it at that than overdo so if I flip through to the back, um, the only other thing I have used here is one of the Polychromos pencils in pink, just to add a bit more, but honestly I'm okay without it because I think this is just too much. I also use the Polychromos here on the face, trying to lighten and darken some of the areas. Again, um, not too keen. I also done it around the eyes and the cheeks which look quite glossy and flat if you can see because um, you know I was using a lot of colors trying to blend but here and there I quite like the polychromous pencil which um, I might actually do the white one no, not the white the gray I think yes I've done the gray which is the warm gray in two yeah it's a great color to go over um, darker colors but if you don't want a white which would be quite sort of um, harsh you can use this one I really love it uh, it's great to add that bit of highlight without going to black and white if that makes sense so yeah that was good now I, I do like that and that is quite literally it. I might, uh, where is that? Is that paint's grey? Now I'm going to go into the black and just add a few marks here and there. If you find that you want something really, really black and you struggle to get it uh, with a fountain pen or any ink pen because the paper is already quite um, overworked the best thing to do it with is the polychromous black pencil and it just as you can see immediately deepens it and darkens it so if you just look what I'm doing here can you see 
how much more contrast there is than this one and I love it. I really really like it like that. I'm also going to do it on here. So there you go. Much better in my opinion. And yeah, so and the other thing I've used here is the um, Uni Posca in pink, um, which is nice, kind of opaque, a little bit of it's called light pink, um, opaque color, um, great for adding detail, but I don't need it in this one. I really like it. Yeah, so if you want to embrace that bit of a um, you know. Tim Burton slash Felix, um, Felix Scheinsberger um, style in your illustrations, then that might be uh, something for you. So I hope you enjoy this. Let me know what you think about this uh, a bit more of a artistic and abstract style. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon. Yeah.